Okay, hi everybody. Uh, I've been working on this 40 hertz flickering light as an Alzheimer's treatment. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, MIT made this announcement last week. Professor Li Hu Sai and her team uh, experimenting on mice found, uh, and I'll cut it short for you, cut to the headlines, that using a 40 hertz flickering light uh, induced gamma rays in, in the brain and uh, reduced beta amyloid plaques. Uh, so there's a lot more to it than just that, but that uh, was they reduced them by 50% uh, by sitting a, a mouse in front of this light for an hour a day. Um, now, not a cure, but anyway, go and find out more about that because MIT have got a lot out there and there's an excellent podcast by Radio Lab, so go and have a listen to that too. It's called Bringing Gamma Back. If you just Google Radio Lab and Bringing the Gamma Back, you will find that podcast. Really good work by those guys. Now, um, so we've been working on trying to get a, or build a, a, uh, an easy 40 hertz uh, flickering light. So this is the way I've done it. And thank you to everybody at uh, Open Unity Research Forums and It's You and um, Slider uh, specifically. Um, basically, this is just a, a bog standard LED torch. It's got 24 LEDs in it. Uh, it had a three-way switch. I've turned that into a two-way switch because it had an extra light in it, which I've pulled out. Um, this is just the uh, Arduino Nano. It's the first time I've messed with these, and that was a lot of fun and interesting, and I could see that being a, a very big distraction in my future. Uh, and that's the USB port. Um, I've got a, a variable resistor there to adjust the brightness, and I've added, uh, thanks to Slider uh, PN100, in there, uh, transistor to um, uh, help with the uh, the current draw for 24 LEDs, so I don't wreck the microcontroller. Uh, obviously, running on um, uh, nine volts, and um, yeah, the there's a bit of a hack to try to get everything in. As you can see, the gaffer tape is um, on the battery, but. Um, the, my, the idea with this and why I wanted to use this, I tried a couple of different things. I tried a baseball cap, but that looked ridiculous. And, um, <laughs> and it, uh, no, it looked ridiculous. It was just as annoying as hell. So uh, this is, um, I think, an easier way to do it. It's all battery operated, so I don't have to worry about mains power or anything like that. Um, for those who are worried about safety or anything like that with patients, um, yeah, I'm just following what the um, uh, you know, reading what the professor has said, and you know she's using this sort of flashing light for her Christmas tree lights. So she thinks it's a it's a healthy thing, and um, and certainly I've had no ill effects by working on this. So I'll switch the lights off, and I'll just show you the frequency and, and how it goes. Um, let me. Okay, so that's the, the Arduino in there. That's the light. So you can see the flicker. Um, and you can imagine if you were looking directly at that, it'd become very annoying. Uh, but that's 40 hertz, so that's uh, flashing at 40 times per second. Um, yeah, so that was... Uh, once I built it the tenth time, it was pretty easy. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, so if um, I reckon, you know, I can make another, I reckon another three of these for the room, and you know, just hang them around like Christmas tree lights. Um, an hour at uh, as soon as the sun goes down. I'm not sure whether you can. Uh, add a timer to the Arduino, but I'm sure you can, so you can probably set it to come on and come off automatically, which would be pretty awesome too, so I might look into that. Anyway, thanks everyone.